like where's Waldo? That's all. That's all I want. I want. I want to like where's Waldo? Nobody's gonna know where I am. Nobody's gonna know what I'm thinking. And I want to make this like as trivial as possible. I'm actually really grateful for the fact that I was arrested at this point in time because it made me more serious about what I'm doing and it it really opened my eyes to what's going on around me and to, to it kind of showed me that life is much bigger than myself and I've been able to experience such great things with this arrest and even pre-arrest I've been able to, to experience such supernatural things that I, there's, I'm, there's going to be a whole story to tell there's going to be a whole book to what I'm going to be able to teach and in my whole and my whole uh, and my whole adventure in life in itself mainly as of now, like I said, my mind is kind of evolving. My whole perspective on life has kind of changed within a short amount of time. Um, I definitely am very disappointed with how I presented myself in my No Jumper interview. It actually was my first uh, ideal interview. I, I don't even like being on camera. That's why I have no music videos or anything like that. So I, I tried my best from a, a premature uh, standpoint to a perspective to uh, properly portray myself. I don't want to use my, my past as an excuse and that's not what I intend to do and I just want to make that very clear before I even cover that. My, my views on life are really, 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 really fucked up and weird. But I was born, like I said, I was, I, I, I was born feeling very, very lost and I, I always felt different. I always, I, initially when I was very quiet, like it's actually quite contradictory to my career because I was really quiet when I was growing up. I was very, very, very quiet like on I, I, the younger years of my life and I was very observant. So initially, uh, I was very mentally tortured, I'd like to say. I felt mentally, but tortured by myself, not by the people around me, just tortured by my, mentally by myself. Um, just due to the fact that, that I, I kind of hated myself. I hated my mind. I hated being stuck inside of my mind. And it, it, it only grew. It only grew, so it created this big warfare within my head. And I did anything that I possibly could to stay out of my head. So I started looking for... I basically happiness in other people and ideally became addicted to, to seeking out relationships or love for that matter. When I had no love for myself, like I, I want to make it, like I want to I wanna really fully, fully take advantage of the mystery and let it be what it is. And I feel like the more I leave that to the people that are listening to my music, then they become thoroughly addicted. I want people to fully make me their heroine. I want to be, I want to literally be the oxygen that these kids breathe at this point in time. And then once I, I accomplish that fully, and I have the full ears and eyes of the youth, then I will take, I will, and I, it sounds crazy, but I'm going to use the negative I created, because I have, unfortunately, created too much negative. And then I'm going to turn it into a positive by uplifting them mentally and curing them from the depression and helping them figure out what it is they want in life. Whether it be going to school, becoming a doctor, becoming a lawyer, or, or, or being a musician, or a musician, or, or artist, or, or an illustrations artist, or anything, but I just want to support, ideally, and help these kids find what it is that they want through my 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 words or through my music, because I, I I'm still quite surprised at, at things that my music have done. So, ideally, it's just to help, not just myself, but the, the youth around me or the generation that I or the new millennial for that matter evolve as human beings and and giving power to the things that are hidden from us and showing people the the real like the, the truth that is around us.
know about me. This is what I want people to know. Don't walk in here, bitch. Right here? Yeah. They got me nice lighting so I can look pretty. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, not ashy. Yeah, we'd rather let her have a look. So you guys ready to do the party tomorrow? Yeah, what's up with that?